Hey guys, Budget Girl here, and I am all stuffed up. I'm starting to get sick or something, which I hate. It's finally summer. I'm supposed to not get sick. So, uh, it is April 10th, and all of my payments and everything have gone through for the last month's budget, so I'm about to give you my third progress report of the year for my $10,000 payoff, um, which for you new subscribers is I've decided to pay off $10,000 of debt this year. And this month, however, did not contribute to that as much as I would have hoped. As I said in my last video, I foresaw some issues, uh, mostly with social obligations that I couldn't get out of, which sounds like a hugely wimpy excuse, but you know what? Sometimes you can't get out of social obligations and sometimes you don't want to. So I blew my personal budget by a hundred dollars. Yeah. I spent more than twice what my personal budget for the month was. Normally it's sixty dollars. I spent a hundred and sixty seven dollars and seventeen cents. And I spent it on a set of sheets, a uh uh, some rain boots, which have already come in handy like 16 times. I am not regretting that purchase at all. Technically, they were shrimp boots. If you're from Louisiana and know the difference between shrimp boots and rain boots, that was news to me. I also had a um, had my birthday present for one of my best friends. Um, had to travel a few towns over to go see another friend in a play, which is which was really really good. I don't regret going to that at all. And you have to support your friends. Sometimes it's it's okay to be frugal, but you know you have to support your friends like that. You just do. Um, I also went down to New Orleans twice to visit a friend that was coming through town, and I had to spend some money there, a little extra gas money, and I needed a new pair of black, like flat work shoes, which is a pretty essential item, and I got them for only twenty one bucks. But yeah, all of that added up to an extra hundred dollars <laughs> oh and I got sunburn and so I had to get like sunburn spray and some sunscreen and it was it was a lot I also to ship something for UPS that I don't really remember now but yeah I went over by a hundred dollars which had to be taken out of my overtime pay which would have gone to student loans so I'll tell you in a second how much I kind of chopped myself off at the knees I also went over in groceries by nineteen dollars which is not that big a deal. I had a bunch of people over one night and there were some specific dietary needs that they had. So I had to get some groceries to be able to cook for them. It was, which I hadn't planned for. I also went over in restaurants by $20, mostly because of the trip to another town to go see my friends in the play and we went out after and then I went down to New Orleans to see another friend and that was just eating out that I had not planned for at the beginning of the month. So, uh, let's see. I did clock some overtime this month and made $202.44 and I made $82 from secret shopping last month and I got $40 extra back in a gas reimbursement that uh, was all able to go to loans. And I was excited about this one. Uh, this was a little scheme. It wasn't a scheme. It was totally legit. Uh, some banks will offer you a cash incentive to open an account with them. And Nationwide had one a couple of months back where they would give you $200 to open an account. Now, the thing with these is that you have to really, really read the contracts and figure out exactly what they want from you. In this case, Nationwide said I had to keep the account open for at least three months before they would deposit the $200. I had to have at least $100 a month direct deposited in from my work. So I just went onto my work site and added in that bank and I had $100 direct deposited every couple of weeks. And uh, they also said that you had to make like three purchases a month with a debit card that they sent you. I... Um, I called because I didn't want to do that 
and uh, they said the, they don't count the first two months and on the third month if I called I could ask for a waive of that so when I got my debit card for that bank in the mail I actually shredded it and I didn't carry it around with me I never ever once used it and in the third month which was in March I called and asked for them to waive the fee that they would have charged had I um, not done that. It was like a $9 fee or something. And if I had forgotten that, it still would have been a profit of $191. So I, uh, they were actually really nice about letting me close it after I got the money. I just called and asked them to close and they didn't send me to like accounts retention or anything. They were just really nice, which is good because I was expecting to have to stay on the phone for an hour or so and just be like, no, I don't want the account anymore. No, I don't want the account anymore. No, I don't want the account anymore. So that actually made a really good impression on me and I haven't completely written off Nationwide as a bank that I may use in the future. But yeah, they paid me $200 to keep an account with them for, I actually ended up keeping it four months. I uh, had it closed in April after they transferred over all the money that I had been putting in there. I had just been pulling it out a couple of days after uh, there was a $50 minimum deposit. So I just, I just pulled it out of my, I actually pulled it out of my emergency fund and just $50 out of my emergency and put it over there. Mostly as a reminder, like, hey, keep an eye on this because when I saw that there was less than $1,000 in my emergency fund, I was like, <gasps> Every single time. I never, I never, I never remembered immediately that there was $950 in my emergency fund instead of a thousand. So, um, that's keeping track of things. That's, but I earned $200 for doing it for very minor, minor inconveniences. And so that plus the $400 budgeted, the $38 gas reimbursement, $82 from secret shopping. I promise I'll do a video on that soon. Just give me a minute. His and her money put one up that is, really good like I've read it or I watched it I've read it and they use a lot of the same secret shopping sites that I do so I'm actually gonna link them below until I make a secret shopping video I just haven't done it yet I'm tired y'all so uh, grand total uh, that I could have put towards my loans this month was nine hundred and twenty two dollars and seventeen cents which is very exciting, especially in a month that there isn't like an extra paycheck or something. That's more than I need. I need $888 a month to do this 10K 2015 thing and actually pay off 10000 by the end of the year. So it would have been over that. It would have been 100 or close to $100 extra. But because I screwed the pooch and I <coughs> went out and did things outside of my budget, I had to subtract $170, which is how much I went over budget from that, and I only got to pay $752.14 to my loans. So hopefully I'll learn my lesson, <laughs> though I don't regret doing any of the things I did this past month. You have to, you have to support your friends. They, they support me. So $752.14 to my loans this month, which makes the um, grand total that I've paid this year on my student loans $3,082.62. I am pretty much right on track with um, with paying off $10,000 this year, which is very, very exciting. So um, I've paid $2,589 to principal this year um, and $3,000 total. A little over 3000 So my loan balance is currently $25,726.20. So very, very soon, hopefully this month, maybe even, I will be able to get that down below 25000 which would be very, very, very exciting. So, all right. Uh, that's it for that. Uh, don't forget to go check out my new Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Budget Girl YouTube, or you can just look up Budget Girl on Facebook. I post pretty much every day there now that I've, that I've invented this Facebook page. And I put Facebook exclusive content and videos on there. So if you haven't checked it out, go over and like my Facebook page because it's just a whole lot of fun over there. So I will see you guys next time. I have videos coming up on... Idiot's Guide to Gardening. I'm the idiot, by the way. <laughs> um, 
Dollar Tree, like pants, weddingly excited items and uh, organization and just all sorts of stuff. So tune back in. See you guys next time. Bye.